G'day, Daniel Kazinis here. In this video, I'm gonna start making the aluminium surfboard. All right, I've been cutting this board out with a grinder. Sort of got the shape I want. Now I'm gonna start folding it up. First, I started trying to fold it in the pan break at work, but it didn't quite fit and I ended up kinking it. I found out it fitted in the um, little brake press attachment for our big press better. Okay, got the uh, aluminium surfboard back here. Got the motor and that just sitting in here, trying to work out how it's all going to go. I actually mangled this side a bit in the folder. So I printed this little thing right here with a 3D printer, which is going to be like the side profile. So what I'm going to do is like bend that over and glue it to here. Both sides, so I'll print like heaps of these. They're pretty, they're really light. All right, I made a bit of a wooden buck. So I'm just going to hold this up here and pound away with a rubber hammer, hopefully. Turn it into this shape. For a whole heap of banging, I've got that sort of roughly to shape. So I want the bottom to extend past the uh, jet unit a bit so it doesn't get taken out by a rock or something. These parts here that join to the back, because I need room for the exhaust, it's probably going to come out in the corner here or something like that. Okay, I've tacked all this together now. Um, I was actually using the pulse on my TIG and it does a way better job of welding this sh uh, thin sheet metal. It's only 1.6 thick, so it's pretty hard to weld. But I'm in a different workshop at the moment. I'm in Christo's workshop. He's got a channel, Fazy Luck. We're going to try and bead roll some lines in here and then he's going to try and help me shape these side parts to match the top. So we cut this part out, and Christo's got a shrinker stretcher, and we got a shrink around there somewhere, right? Yeah, so I'm hoping, because there's not that much of a curve, if we just hold it there and just shrink along here, we should be able to pull that round. Do you want to mark where you want to think? Probably between like here and here or yeah, something. So we've got a lot of stretching around here, and then a sort of even stretch from here to here. And if we just slowly work that round, theoretically we should be able to get that round. Let's make this magic happen. It'll take a while. He's shrinking the other side now, which is good because it should pull it up as well. What do you reckon too? You can feel it sort of pinching, eh? Yeah. You can load it up. Okay, we're back at home now. Big thanks to Christo for helping me shape these compound curves. Pretty hard to do, but he's done a good job of it. The printer's been going all night. Let's see what she's done. Oh, yeah. So I've made this, continue this, uh, what do you call it, swage line through the rest of the boat because it won't fit down here to the sides. That bit goes on the bottom and I'm just going to hammer that on top of there and hopefully it works. Let's try it. So yeah, this tool is a 100% viable way of doing this. Just printed it 100% infill. Just drawn lines everywhere to mark out where it was. It's just getting it lined up is the hardest part. But yeah, made these creases pretty good. It's a bit ripply, but it's good enough. I got a bit better the more I did. Yeah, it worked fine.
There we go, that's tacked up. Look at that, almost looks like I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty happy with the shape. Uh, there's a bit of a lump here, I'll try and beat that down, but I might put a cross brace in first. But let's see how much it weighs, eh? These scales say I'm 85 kilos. So, 105. So I was 106 kilos with all of this stuff in here. I'll work that out in a minute. So 21 kilos was the weight. I've attached this, the motor assembly, to the jet unit, which is getting bolted in now. Put another bit of a brace at the top here. So next thing I've got to do is cut out the front and also make a cross member for in here. So I cut out the cross member, then I took it into work and used the folding machine to bend it up into the shape I wanted. And then hole sawed a whole heap of holes in it. Printed, 3D printed a dimple die, just got a taper there and a taper there. Try it in this plate, see if it works in the press. Oh, hang on, hang on, take that out. Yeah, that's better. Oh, don't you love it? Look at that, eh? It nice. works. All right, I've welded the board off, siliconed the jet unit in. So it should be watertight now, let's see if we can test it. My old test tub's been modified so I can't really use this. More videos on that later. Park my unit in a bit of an angle so I can fill the tray up with water to test the surfboard. Okay, I got the motor back in. So the water from the jet is going to go straight into the cylinder. It's going to bypass the exhaust because I can't bother hooking it up right now. Temporary, temporary fuel tank. So let's see if it runs and then I'll put it in the water. Since I haven't printed all of these parts in the jet unit with 100% um, infill, I know it's definitely going to fail, so I'm just going to run it until it fails. The carburetor fell off. That's great, that's straight from the factory, but anyway, I have to tighten that back up. Oh, the coupling totally failed. This carburetor still tried to spin off. Not working very good. Well, that didn't really go so good. Let's focus on the one positive thing. The uh, new coupling I printed held up fine. I did a high um, shell layer like a lot of people suggested in the comments. The bad parts, as soon as I got load on the, um, as soon as the pump loaded up, it, took, it takes a while to feed enough water for it to start pressurizing. And as soon as it did that, it just blew the coupling. I've only printed it at 10% infill by the looks. So I have to print that solid. I might print some more of these parts solid as well, but that's like hours and hours and hours of printing. The cooling does have water in it. It just started working, but the, well, the jet wasn't running properly, so it's not gonna cool. Um, I'd like any suggestions from you guys. Also, I need to start Loctiting stuff because this engine mount shot itself loose. Yeah, the engines run good. 
It's a shame the carburetors came off too. Other people were asking about the way of copper wrap can run the water through the pipe first before it goes into the heads. It's because the water is supposed to be pre preheated a little bit before it goes in, like cars have a thermostat. I'm just trying to guess how much heat I need before it goes straight in, because cold water going straight in is bad apparently, even though I ran it like that this time. But on a long haul, it might be bad for it. A lot of people also debate a lot about the uh, jet should be underwater, should be coming out underwater instead of above the water line. Leave me your thoughts on that. Half people say it comes above the water line, other people say it needs to go below the water line. So I can print different nozzles to change the angle as well. I've been really enjoying making this board actually, so thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.